If you're into sneakers, you probably know that a sneaker grail is a pair of sneakers that you really want more than any other sneaker. You're more than likely willing to pay way over retail or maybe sometimes even the market value, but this is a sneaker that before any others, you definitely want to add to your collection. What's going on y'all, Everyday Cachet here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then typically on this channel we talk plus size fashion, style, sneakers, lifestyle and the like. So if you're into any of that, then you need to go ahead and subscribe. In today's video though, I'm sharing with you a grail pickup that I actually grabbed out on a work trip and uh, I wanna share my experience with y'all. So if you're interested in seeing exactly what sneaker I picked up that I've been wanting for, forever, then you already know what to do. Go ahead and tap on that like button and stay tuned. Let's go. Okay, y'all, so before I actually get into the box of the sneakers that I picked up, I did want to share with you all a little bit about how I came to grab this grail. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I actually went to Atlanta, Georgia on a work trip. You've enjoyed having me on board. We hope to see you again soon. Have a wonderful day. And a really cool new friend of mine hipped me to a couple of places that I needed to check out, A, to eat good, <laughs> cause period, but B, to, you know, do a little shopping. I didn't have as much time as I wanted to, obviously, because my days were filled with lots of training, but I wanted to explore Atlanta in a way that I haven't, the many and plenty of other times that I've been to the city. So this gave me a great opportunity to do a little bit of shopping. And there were three different sneaker stores that were proposed to me. One was Wish ATL, another was versus ATL and then of course heat ATL I mean the food obviously in Atlanta is bomb I got a chance to eat at Mary Max tea room and old lady gang and just all kinds of goods wall burgers I think for lunch one day it was just <laughs> scrum deli umptious. though that didn't live up to as much fun that I had when I visited heat ATL I got a chance to check out heat one night just before going to dinner and I really really had a great time and obviously I picked up a pair of sneakers right um, when I first walked in I saw a number of really cool sneakers what's up y'all so I just made it to heat ATL and so far some really cool cops so I'm gonna show y'all what I see <laughs> the Yeezy clays I saw a pair of like Charlotte Hornet tins uh, so many human races there was like literally everything and they had these really cool games where you have an opportunity to like spend a little money and like grab a sneaker or grab a stack of cash so that obviously kind of you know creates the culture of the store it's vibrant with lots of loud music and I mean everything that you can look at but to the naked eye you actually might miss out on some of the stories behind all of the sneakers that you see if you're new to really learning about sneakers so I'll admit I did take one of my coworkers with me and it was a little overwhelming I think at first but she ended up popping some really cool sneakers as well nonetheless when it came down to two shoes I actually had to reach out to you know Hasabe or whatever to see which pair I should grab comment down below right now if you think you know what sneaker I grabbed based on what I'm wearing um, which is just like a you know royal blue hoodie so why don't we take a look now I grabbed a pair of Jordan 1s. Obviously, this is a very classic with a little bit of love on my box right there. But this is the classic Jordan 1 box, y'all. And I bet you can guess that I grabbed the Jordan 1 Royals. Burr, 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 burr. All right, y'all, I'm in here in heat, <laughs> spending money. Travis Scott 1s. I'm about to grab the Royals. Travis Scott Lowe's. Are you the owner? The owner is standing right here. I don't know if he wants to be in this video, oh, no, but cool. he uh, is yeah. being a whew. Mr. Crispy Kicks, Look, the one and only. I tell you what, because Crispy Kicks are always served daily right here at Heat <laughs> ATL. You know what I mean? I see what you did there. Balubas. <laughs> Dead stock. Come on, where you finding these yeah. at right now, man? They no hype beasts over here. Y'all, he's a bad influence. <laughs> Bad influence. I'm gonna hurry up and end this video. They're wrapping up my royals for me. I'm about to go ahead and pay. Are those my royal ones? Those are your royal ones. Alright, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and pay and I'll catch y'all on the other side. So as I mentioned, I was in between two pair of sneakers. The other pair of sneakers that I thought about were actually the shadow ones, which would have also been a great grab. Oh. 
I went ahead and paid, checked out y'all, and I was well on my way. Thank you. It was as simple as that. Grabbed my royals and they were coming home with me. Quick note, I love the fact that the owner actually allowed me to leave a couple of business cards right at the checkout station. So if y'all do drop in a heat ATL, be sure to grab one and share it with somebody so they can subscribe to my channel. I absolutely love, love, love this sneaker. I say love, love, love like multiple times when I really, really like something. When I very first saw somebody wear this sneaker, I fell in love with it. In fact, it is my cousin. <laughs> um, my cousin, his name is Drozart on Instagram. That's D-R-0-Z-A-R-T. Gosh, a really cool, like, trained pianist. He plays keys for super dope rapper Rhapsody. Uh, but he absolutely, like, kills it when he wears his Royals. And I knew ever since I saw him the very first time that I had to have this pair. So when I saw this on Heat ATL's Instagram story, I was like, yeah, let me go ahead and cop. Now, the price was... $280 and it was a little more than I wanted to spend but I mean obviously I mean it's the Royals they go for way more than that so um, original box as you can see a uh, perfect shoe um, in uh, like amazing condition with the laces I mean like I didn't lose at all so that was super dope I'm not gonna lie, I thought twice about grabbing this shoe, but like I said, when I reached out to the friend that hipped me to Heat ATL, he was like, grab that sneaker. You definitely need to have it in your arsenal. And I couldn't believe that I didn't already. But like I said, I have been, you know, kind of like drooling over it for quite a few um, years now, admittedly. So I grabbed the Royals and I really enjoyed my purchase experience. I would definitely go back to Heat ATL if it was closer. But one of the things that I absolutely love about Heat is that on their Instagram stories, because they're posting all all of these sneakers that they're getting in um, and that they're verifying and then of course putting up for sale it makes it really easy to be across the country and not have to worry about whether or not you can get that sneaker they'll ship it directly to you so don't hesitate if you actually see something in the story and you've been wanting it for a while and it's your size like there's really no loss my coworker actually ended up grabbing a pair of Barclays and I was actually a little jealous that they weren't in my size, but it's all good. She actually snagged a really good pair as well. She wore them the next day um, and you know, yada, yada. So anyway, <laughs> that's it for now, but I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. And if you did, again, you already know what you gotta do. Go ahead and tap on that like button. Give me a thumbs up because I wanna be able to share more grail purchases with you all in the future. And be sure to comment down below, what's your grail? Like what sneaker do you absolutely want that you just don't have in your sneaker collection. I can't wait to see what y'all list down there in the comments. And I am going to, gosh, probably go figure out, you know, how I'm about to style and profile for this thumbnail, because period. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later. Much love. Bye.